Welcome to the tutorial video for the Complex Sequencer. I'll show you how to update each sequencer's firmware. First, take a cable and make sure it's plugged into your audio device, preferably a computer or laptop running an audio playback software such as Audacity. Then, plug it into the start input of sequencer A. Now, to power on the sequencer, you have to hold the global play and global stop buttons together. While still holding them, power on the sequencer and keep them held until the one-shot mode buttons link twice. The play controls for the sequencer will also all be lit. Now the sequencer is in bootloader mode and ready to be updated. Have the audio files that you unzipped from the file you downloaded off our website ready, specifically the one corresponding to sequencer A. Now play the audio file and the play button will become unlit. But, for example, if you played the wrong file or have a bad cable, the sequencer will not update correctly and the stop button will flash. In that case, you will have to unplug the sequencer and boot it back up as described before. Now let's try it again. We'll play the audio file corresponding to sequencer A, and the play button will become unlit. Each file is 28 seconds long, so we'll wait till it's done playing. When the update for sequencer A is successful and finished, the play button will flash, the sequencer will reset, and the stop button will become lit and solid. Now, to update sequencer B, plug the cable into sequencer B's start input and repeat the same procedure as for sequencer A. We will now play back the audio file corresponding to sequencer B, and its play button will become unlit. Once the audio file is finished playing, sequencer B's play button will flash and then the stop button will become lit, and that means the update is successful. Now, for sequencer C, plug into sequencer C's start input. Now we will play sequencer C's audio file, the play button will become unlit. When sequencer C's update is successful, the play button will flash and the stop button will become lit. Finally, it's time for Sequencer D, so let's plug in the Sequencer D's start input and play back its audio file. Its play button will become unlit when the file is played. Once Sequencer D is finished, the play button will flash and the stop button will become lit. Success! Now the complex sequencer is completely updated. To go back to normal operation, Unplug the sequencer and remove the cable from the start input, and then power it back on. It boots up normally and plays. Everything functions as it should. Enjoy.